Hey y'all, it's me Amanda the Lazy Stitcher and today I have an update on stitching for you instead of books. I've had a lot of book updates lately. I didn't do much during the summer so unsurprising. So the big news is I went to the Stitch New England retreat, had a grand old time. It was an absolute delight. I will talk about that a little bit more later but for now let me start with showing you my stitching and yeah and it's mostly going to be stitching and I did far too many purchases than I should have. First I finished my ornament from last year. That's kind of like my ornament for me. Ain't it cute? And it's called um, From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. This one's Love and Joy. It's in the 2022 last year's ornaments from Just Cross Stitch. And yeah, I actually got it done. I think it's super cute. And I don't have much to say on it. Um, I mostly use DMC, but I think I picked a couple of fancy flosses. The red, I think, is the famous, is it Louisiana Hot Sauce? I forget what I used for the other color. I think it would have looked better with a slightly darker color, but I think it might be amber. I don't. Do you think I'm going to rip it out and redo it? No. I think it's cute enough. At the retreat, I only worked on one project. I worked on Miss Mary Mac by Lottie Da, who will ultimately look like this. And I figured it was one color and she would be easy to work on. And I wanted to work on the project I've been concentrating on in October, but you'll see why in a minute, why I didn't bring that. So I got some really good progress. The last time I worked on her, um, I was close to being done with the border, but not quite. And then I finished the border and I got, yeah, that's right, quite a bit of her done. So I finished the border down here and then I got... A lot of her done, honestly. My new friend Beth, she totally wanted me to finish this. <laughs> I will at some point. I'm trying to decide. Um, she'll be in my rotation for my whips, but I don't think I'm going to specifically try to finish her. I think I might also, if I haven't finished her by July I'll bring her to the New Jersey retreat because I plan on going to that. I got a new needle minder. It's a little Mothman. Isn't he cute? Look at him. <laughs> and he says, spread your wings. I don't know why I thought that was so funny. And I don't know, there's not much else to say about her other than she is the perfect retreat stitch because I just, I did it some of the outline of her later on and I could just fill in. It was great. Uh, she's on a 36 count. I think she's doubloon. Yep, doubloon by Picture This Plus. A very popular color. An absolute delight. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna work on her like I typically do and then I might, I could see um, trying to finish her in July. We'll see. This is my demon. This is my brat cat, Moody. Okay, so I would have worked on what I'm working on for most of this month, which is Sleepy Hollow by the Cricut Collection. But I have it on my scroll frame, which is a new thing for me. I have it on my scroll frame, and the thing about the scroll frame is it is absolutely ginormous, and I didn't want to have to take it off of the scroll frame and put it back on because it's huge and it's an undertaking so I didn't I just didn't bring it but I'll show you yes it is that big absolutely ridiculous I got this size actually based on my chatelaine but it's it's huge it barely fits this piece of fabric too though so like this is a long skinny piece but I'm working obviously in the center on <laughs> I'm working on the headless horseman that's supposed to be a bridge, but I swear it looks more like a tomb. Um, I just think it's super cute. 
I think is so cute. And it's going to look really, really cool when it's done. But this is going to take me many, many Octobers to finish. And that's okay. I'm having fun stitching on it. As you can see, I'm also working on the words on the bottom. I'm hoping to get those done within the next couple of days because then I can just focus on the horseman. And eventually I'm going to move left. And actually, but you're left. I'm going to work left and then I'm going to go back to the right. So there's like a couple of big buildings and stuff in this too. It's going to be an undertaking, but it's going to look really cool when it's done. So this one is on a... Yeah, it's a 36 count Ember, Ember linen. Um, it's Am light Amsterdam blue. Um, and this one was uh, Silk Weavers. I think it's Fabrics by Gem now. So I love it. I actually use a toddler bed size crib sheet to cover it right now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I do plan on getting smaller scroll, um, smaller horizontal bars, but I'm going to do that um, maybe like late winter, early spring, because it would be nice to work on um, Celtic summer with, on a scroll frame, because I, I eventually would like to beat, you know, I'm going to be beating her, and I think she would be a good candidate, but I'm going to need a smaller <laughs> set. And then my last project to show you is, of course, my Chatelaine, which... I was very obnoxious at the retreat and I just kept being like, look, I have a Chatelaine. <laughs> like, no one cares, Amanda. Okay, so this is Butterfly Lace. It's on a 32 count linen. I forget what kind, but here she is. So, I am still working on the second butterfly. I finished the first. I've been going back and forth between butterfly and the swirly swirls up here. Um, I have no idea if the colors are correct for this because for the second butterfly because like I swear there are so many repeating symbols in this but I just kept going with my heart and it's beautiful I absolutely love this but my year of the Chatelaine is now over I mean it wasn't gonna be like a full year like an actual year year like a stitchy year is what it was so ends in October for me because then I do, um, I do Halloween ornaments, Christmas. I love my Chatelaine, but I've gotten sick of it. I'll be honest. So it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna. I plan on taking a rather long break from it. I will. My plan is there's a couple of other. Well, I'm gonna do my typical routine for October through December, and then I have a couple of pieces I want to do for my kids. And when I finish those, I'm gonna focus on the Chatelaine again. Not for a full year. Maybe for like two to three months. We'll see. And it's going to take the time it takes, you know? But I love it. I cherish it. Just sometimes you need a break, you know? Okay, next let me show you retreat purchases. Specifically brought cash so I could only buy so much. There were issues. Because it wouldn't be a floss suit video if I didn't tell you about some kind of disaster I managed to get myself in. Which I have a story. Um, but that's okay. This one actually, there's technically two stories. One of them is not my fault. The other one is entirely my fault, but I'm not gonna get into the second one because I'm too embarrassed about it. But first, I'll just show you my purchases. All right, I, I, I need to give you a slight explanation. So, I, I don't know, if you've been watching, you might have noticed, like, I keep changing my strategy of how I purchase things. Um, I went from, when I first started getting into cross stitch, I just bought tons and tons of patterns, as one does. And then I was like, I have way too many patterns. So I started kitting them up, or at least requiring that I buy fabric for them. And so I would kit up stuff that I already had. And then if I bought new charts, I would require myself to buy the, at least the fabric, if not the threads as well. Okay, fantastic strategy, except I have now kitted up so many things. I have like a full, I have three bins of kitted up stuff. Now, two of them are not very full at all, so it's not as bad, but one of them is completely full. The bins are like yay big. They're of a size. They're not like huge, huge, but still. I don't need anything. I 
I really only start things when I finish things. I do plan on starting things a little more frequently than I do now, but nevertheless, I'm not going to be starting tons and tons of stuff. It's just not my style. So like, I technically don't need to buy anything. And I think really the solution is I should just not buy anything, but it's kind of hard to go to like a retreat and not buy stuff. And in my slight defense, Really, the only time I buy anything cross-stitch related is when I go to retreats. I don't, I don't buy stuff outside of that, really. So now that I've filled up on kitted projects, sorry, they're over there, which is why the gesture. Um, I think I've come for full circle, and then I decided I'm just going to buy patterns again because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I'm never going to start any of this anyway, so. Sorry, that's very like down on myself, but and I mean, I will start things at some point. Really the solution is I just have to stop buying stuff and I just have to stitch faster. <laughs> like if I stitched faster, this wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Well, let me show you what I bought. So, I got the new um 2023 just cross stitch ornament edition. Um I let you know. So I got to pick out ornaments. I'm doing three from this, but I'm also doing, I got this as a freebie. And my daughter wants me to stitch that one. The only thing is this was obviously a kit. So I have to pick out the colors, but I think I can figure that out. Okay. I've got the pictures pretty good. And yeah, I'm going to stitch three ornaments from here. And then my other, this is the only other freebie I grabbed. I have to say that's pretty restrained is I got this little robin because I like robins. It's a British one, a European robin. Isn't that cute? I wonder if this one is just, oh no, this one actually gives you the DMC. It's, uh, this one clearly came from a magazine. It's really cute. Oh yeah, I got a snag nabbit. I've been wanting a snag nab. can't see it. I've been wanting a snag nabbit forever. In case you don't know what a snag nab it is, if you get one of those threads, like sometimes, um, if I do two strands, I obviously loop start most of the time. But if I start, you know, with variegated or I start with one thread, I do the, I forget what the kind of start is, but the one where you start in the corner and you go down and then you go around, it works great. But occasionally the little tails come up through the front. And for the life of me, I try to tug them back, but it, I just can't always seem to find the right thread to tug. Snag nab it. That's what this is for. You pull it through and it should grab the stuff that's in the front and pull it back. I've been wanting one of these forever and I finally, finally used my brain cells and purchased one. Okay, so before I grabbed that free bunny, I bought this bunny. Cause look how cute it is. Counting puddle. So, Counting Puddles, it's called Rabbit's Bright Winter Night Ornament. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I, it's okay that I have two bunnies. Um, the other one's really tiny, so that'll be easy to do this year, but this one is a little bigger for an ornament, which is fine. It's not, like, big. It's still going to be small. I, but I could also finish it as something other than an ornament, you know? And then I got, this is heart and hand, isn't that cute? Doodles Winter. Now, I got this because, now, it's cute, right? But, like, they had the models, and the model is, like, 5,000 times cuter. There's also a really good one that's, like, a gardening one that I want to get, but I held slight restraint and didn't buy that. But I thought that was cute. Oh yeah. And I always love the blue flower. I love a lot of her designs. I have at least one or two kitted. I think at least two. I haven't started them. But I got this one. Um, I've been Forest Home. I've been eyeing this one already. It's on. It was on my list of ones I wanted to buy. Our roots are in the depths of the woods. I do in fact live in the middle of the woods so it felt appropriate. Okay, this one's pat 
Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery, Autumn Garden at Cranberry Manor. I'd seen this one. This was another one I'd eyed and I knew I wanted. I just thought it was so cute. Absolutely lovely. Just so cute. Oh, and this is even cuter. This is super cute. This one is by uh, Posey. And it's Summer Storm. And there's obviously different seasons, but I just thought that was so cute. I didn't buy the other seasons yet. But I just thought that was so cute. Just the whole style of it. Oh, it's so charming. Makes me think of just kind of how I live in the woods, but even more charming. Like a charming, charming version of my life. This is by Rebel Stitcher Designs. This is also who did the um, the, ne the little Mothman needle minder because I thought he was so cute. And this one's Flowers Grow Back. Flowers grow back even after they are stepped on. And I love that. That's a great sentiment. Mind you, I don't think anyone's really stepping on me. I really just step on myself. I cause my own problems, but I just think it's really cute. Love it. Oh, <laughs> okay. And then I have two that I actually did get the fabric for. And the reason I got the fabric is because they were not like regular neutral fabrics. I have a nice, decent sized collection of neutral fabrics. So I don't really, you know, I don't really need to get, like if a pattern just calls for like whatever, you know, if it's just a neutral looking fabric, I've got them, I'll figure it out, you know, or could buy them later, whatever. But I decided to get fabric for two pieces that were much more, um, I would want much more custom fabric. So this one is by Little Robin Designs, The Birdman Cometh. Amy Gable Stitchers loves this, and she got me turned on to this too. And I just, I kept thinking about it and thinking about it, and then when I finally saw it again, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. So I got fabric for this too. This is um by Atomic uh, Atomic Ranch. This is Sweet William. Now, the color is a lot is a little lighter, but it's really close. And I think it's going to look fantastic. And I'll be honest, um, I don't know if I'm going to bother with the over dyes on this. I might just do DMC. That's what Amy was leaning toward. And I kind of agree with her because I think when you have such a bright, like, intense fabric, I think, honestly, variegation is going to get kind of lost in there. So there you go. And then lastly... I, I've been wanting to get a Bella Fil Filipina. I've been wanting to get one of these and I finally went ahead and picked one out. This was the one I liked the most, A Scent of the Moth Queen, because, I mean, she's beautiful and I like moths. And I got, this one, I had to get a big piece of fabric because she's a big lady. So I had to get myself a fat half instead of just a quarter. And I got this. Um, I don't even know. What, what is this? This is another Atomic Ranch. This is called Moonstone. It's a 32 count Lagana, which actually I think for something like this, you don't necessarily, I don't feel like I need linen as much. I think Lagana actually makes more sense. Now, you know, in the one she's stitched on is a lot more purpley, but I think this is going to work. I think it'll still look really good on this. I think it's close enough. It's basically... It looks like the blues in that picture just doesn't have the purples, but I think it's gonna work and look really great. So those are all of my purchases that I really didn't need to purchase. Okay, so let me tell you about the weekend. It was lovely. I um, What I did in order to save money, because I'm very cheap, I did a few things, some of them didn't work out. I went to my mom's the night before and stayed at her house so I could drive um, because she lives an hour away from the retreat as opposed to two and a half hours away from the retreat. So, you know, cut, cut some of my time out. Next year, the retreat is going to start on Thursday, which actually works out better for me because then I will justify just getting a hotel and I can drive over the day before and it won't be much harder for my, it's not going to be a huge difference for my husband. Like the only difference is he'll have to have, make dinner three nights instead of two. 
I think he'll live. So I went to the retreat, had a great time. Um, I had a wonderful table. Um, I sat with uh, Stacy, who is absolutely hilarious. She had me cackling at one point. Um, Stacy, I'm not. La I wasn't laughing at your misfortune. I just think your reaction to your misfortune was very funny, and you're very animated and lovely. I have not other nice things to say. <laughs> and then um, Beth, who was very, very kind. And I'll talk a little bit more about Beth later, too. She um, she was very lovely. And then um, Maureen and Bonnie and Lynette. You know, a lot of people know Lynette. So homesteading on the home front. So I had an absolute, it was table 23. <laughs> I had an absolutely lovely time with everybody. Um, I also got to see the boss stitchers, uh, Chris and Jane. I, um, my, my table wasn't always hungry at the same time as me and I was hungry. So I would just go over to Chris and Jane and be like, you guys hungry? Wait. <laughs> I kept stealing them from food. It was fun. And I also got to see uh, Kathleen again, Schnickerdoodle Stitcher. She's absolutely lovely. And I made new friends, too. I want to clarify. I made some new friends. But those are the, the buddies I got to see again, which was really nice. Oh. And, of course, Amy. Amy sat at our table here and there. Oh, Amy, you're going to be mad I forgot. Gable Stitcher. She's going to be mad I forgot her? No, I don't think so. I don't think Amy's like that. But I didn't mean to forget. So it was absolutely lovely. And I mean, I'm sure there's other people I talked to and there's probably other people I already knew and I just forgetting to like mention you. And um, that's actually why I'm not showing like the retreat specific goodies that we got because I um, I'm worried I'm going to forget most of the people who gave me these lovely things. Like we got a lot of freebies, like a lot of people like made things or for the retreat which is like there was 300 people at this retreat and like wow that's a lot I didn't even get my table presents because I'm a bum and I feel bad because almost everyone at my table gave table presents speaking of which Stacy I took two needle minders and it suddenly occurred to me you probably only meant for me to take one girlfriend let me know if you'd like that back because um I didn't mean to be that guy I just sort of was like, oh, thanks. Not thinking that maybe you meant me to only take one of those, you know? Just let me know. It's cool. I just feel very like, ac that was an accidental selfishness, you know? Okay. So I'll tell you the misfortune story because it's funny. So I signed up for the retreat at the New Jersey retreat in July. I couldn't get myself a room in the hotel. If I had, the route, the rates for the actual hotel for, in, that the retreat taste, took place in were very reasonable. But I wasn't able to get into that one. So I went ahead and I found the cheapest place I could possibly find. And I decided I would just stay for one night. And then I would drive home Saturday, or drive to my mom's house Saturday. And this place looked really sketchy from online, but I was like, well, it's one night, I'll make it. And I went ahead when I signed up. I signed up through a third-party site, Hotels.com. And when I signed up, I went ahead and paid for it right away. Because I was like, I just, I don't want to deal with that. You know, I don't want to have any trouble. The other thing I did is the day that I would have been staying at the hotel... I went ahead and called them at like 3.30. They had like 3 o'clock check-in, but I called at 3.30 and I was like, hey, I'm coming in late. Can I check in late? Is that okay? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. I, you know, and I told them I was going to be really late. So I tend to stay up late at retreats. I actually stayed up less late than I usually do. I usually stay up even later, but at like 11 o'clock I, I get, I find this motel. It wasn't too far away, but I find it. It's even sketchier than I expected, but that's okay. And I get there, and they, I tell them who I am, and they have no record of me at all, nothing. And they also don't have any rooms. There's nowhere for me to stay. Not good. So I'm like, wow, this is bad. <laughs> 
you know, I'm getting a little ready to cry, but I'm like, okay, okay. So I looked around quickly. I couldn't find any hotels that were nearby that had any even reasonable rate, you know, like I just, there's only so much I can afford. And, um, as I'm sitting in my car, like pondering, like at that point I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to go to my mom's house. It sucks. It's late at night. I don't want to have to drive an hour, but I'll do it because like, what else am I going to do? And then it, both uh, Stacy and Lynette friended me on Facebook and I was like, so I told them what happened and I felt bad because I'll be honest, I kind of told them because I was a little bit desperate, but I also felt really bad in like posing on them. It was Stacy and Lynette that night. So they saved me. Thank you ladies for saving me. I'm very, it was the whole thing. Like here's, this is what I get for trying to be cheap. Okay. And like, I, yeah. Otherwise, I that wasn't my fault. I did everything else right in that scenario. So, mm -hmm. and then Beth, who I mentioned is absolutely lovely. I stayed with Beth the second night, so I didn't have to go home to my to my mom's house, which is absolutely lovely. That was really really kind of her. Thank you, Beth. You're awesome. And yeah, I also ended up having credit card trouble. I won't. I'm not going to get into that. That one was more my fault, and it's fine. It's fine. I just, I don't want to, I'm more embarrassed about that. It's, but everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not good at preparing for things. Okay. So that's it. I hope you're all doing well and hopefully I'll see you next month. Yeah. Next month. Don't try to stay at sketchy motels. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I do plan on going to Stitch New England next year. Um, and this time I'm going to make sure I get into the main hotel because it'll like I said the rate was honestly better than the sketchy place and it'll be a million times more worth it um to just get into that I'm also being reminded I need to sign up I need to get the ho into the hotel for New Jersey too anyway I hope you're all doing well bye